Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is at $135,087.67. As you can see, today is a red day for me. I lost quite a bit of money. However, in the past year, I am up $54,793.02. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $40,000. $834.45 and as I mentioned earlier today is a red day for me I lost several thousand dollars I lost three thousand three hundred sixty one dollars today so I'll explain why later it's because of one particular stock so let's go over my options I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls these expired December 20th my total return $186 I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $3,885. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $510. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, $2,132. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $1,103. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $800. I'm selling SoFi $15 covered calls. These expire March 21st, 2025. My total return, I'm down $1,088. Um, I got Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $12,201. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $202.31. My average cost, $188.27. My total return, $4,211.55. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $14.74. My average cost, $5.70. My total return, $57,866.55. Sorry, $57,866.05. I have 200 shares of Google. Google is at $175.54. My average cost, $169.60. My total return, $1,188. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $122.74. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, I am down $5,334.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $121,000. $873.07. My margin used is $84,797.93. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $27,075.14 in buying power. So, like I said earlier, the reason why I'm down so much today is due to one stock, and that is Target. Target reported earnings today, and it was horrible. As you can see, Target is down 21.38% today during the day. So over 21% down in one single day. That's huge. Gigantic drop. So as you can see, yesterday it's, it was around 157, like the, the high 150s, right? So it went from there down to 
the low 120s. So it's at 122 right now. Here's an article that I found on Yahoo Finance that says why target TGT shares are getting obliterated today. So let's look at this. What happened? Shares of general merchandiser retailer Target fell 22.4% in the afternoon session after the company reported weak third quarter results. Despite a modest increase in comparable sales driven by strong guest traffic and digital sales, same store sales declined by 1.9%, reflecting a drop in in-store purchases. Profitability also came under pressure as gross margin fell slightly due to higher supply chain and fulfillment costs. This combined with elevated operating expenses contributed to a significant EPS miss. Additionally, Target's full year EPS guidance was reduced and missed significantly, further disappointing investors. Management called out unique challenges and cost pressures that impacted our bottom line performance. Overall, this was a surprisingly bad quarter. So as you can see, a lot of bad news for Target coming out during their earnings. And that's why it fell so hard today. Over 21% down today. And that really hurt my portfolio because I have 200 shares of Target and I am selling covered calls on them. However, 200 shares of Target, that's why it went down so much today because of Target having a bad earnings. Now, this is one example of when covered calls actually help. When the stock drops by a lot, the fact that I have covered calls sort of softens the blow. So for example, my target covered calls, strike price of 145. Even though target the stock went down 22% today, at least for my covered call, today's return, $2,722. So I lost money from my shares of Target going down 21% today. However, I gained like $2,700 for my covered calls today. So like I said, it, it sort of softened a blow. It doesn't get, get rid of it completely, but it sort of helped a little bit. Um, so that's one of the advantages of covered calls is that when a stock tanks, when it goes down 21% in one day, the fact that I have covered calls helps out a little bit, you know, instead of losing $6,400 today, um, it sort of offsets it by $2,722. So I don't lose the full $6,400 today um, because the covered calls sort of offsets it a little bit. That's what I mean. Now, do I think the target will eventually recover? I'm okay with holding on to them. I think I might change the strike price to something lower um, so that I gain a little bit more premium. Right now it's at 122, right? Target's at 122. So I might change it to something lower, like uh, 135, maybe even 140, keep it high, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but that's my plan. I do believe that this is potentially an opportunity, right? Maybe Target can eventually recover. We'll see. But I'm comfortable holding on to my shares. My 200 shares of Target, I'm comfortable holding on to them. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to report for this portfolio update. I lost several thousand dollars today due to Target having bad earnings. And I'm going to see what I can do from here. All right, I'm going to keep on making more of these portfolio updates in the future. So if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.